Hi, my name is Dan Goldsman, and welcome to this all-access, behind-the-scenes look at this crazy, wonderful effect that we call audience scanning or audience immersion. Being able to safely immerse audiences inside of high-powered lasers has long been the holy grail of our industry, and now that that code has been cracked, this stunning effect is blowing up all over with top artists like Dave Matthews Band, Justin Timberlake, Armin Van Buren, and Drake. Penguin Laser Systems and X-Laser have teamed up to give you a behind-the-scenes look at how it can be possible to safely shoot high-powered lasers into audience areas. This video will cover the major concepts very quickly, and then keep an eye out for the next videos, which will cover all of these topics in much more depth, so that you can really learn how to integrate high-powered laser scanning into your shows. So what is audience scanning? Audience scanning occurs when a designer or laserist intentionally directs laser beams into audience areas. Normally, high-powered lasers need to be kept up above people's heads because the human eye is capable of focusing laser light much more efficiently than other kinds of light, such as sunlight. Better focusing leads to higher levels of irradiance, and just like holding a magnifying glass under the sun, when you can focus energy down to a tiny, tiny spot, high levels of irradiance can cause damage. In audience scanning, we're really employing a series of techniques to very precisely and reliably reduce the irradiance of lasers, keeping the show's eye safe and comfortable to watch. So how is this even possible? To keep the lasers irradiance low and create spectacularly immersive experiences, we use three different sets of tools, hardware, software, and procedures for setup and testing. On the hardware side, we're really doing three very key things. First, we're using a combination of optics, including a patented scan safety lens from Penguin, to make the beam so big by the time it hits the audience area that it can't all fit into your eye. If the beam's too big to fit into your eye, we only have to account for the very small portion that can fit into your eye, meaning that we have dramatically reduced the irradiance that can get into your eye. This part of the system works on distance. The greater the distance, the bigger the beam. The bigger the beam gets, the safer it becomes, and the more power you can safely use. The second part of the, the hardware is a circuitry that's designed to monitor the health of your laser and keep the beam moving faster than a set rate. If we force the beam to move out of your eye very quickly so it can't leave very much energy behind, the irradiance drops even further, making the show even safer. We do this with another patented technology called PASS, or the Professional Audience Safety System, for which X-Laser is proud to be one of only two certified integrators in the world. And the third part that makes all of this work is the actual integration of all those systems within an actual projector platform. In order for audience scanning to be accomplished safely, the hardware inside of a projector must be very carefully specified and built to control heat, facilitate communication between the components, and be robust in the right ways to really protect the system. X-Laser's projector platform is called the Defiant. It's a very robust IP54 enclosure that houses our completely integrated audience scanning system that we call Polaris. Polaris is a patent-pending turnkey audience scanning system that seamlessly integrates all of Penguin's technologies with high-quality laser hardware that both protects your audience and protects the artistic effect to the greatest extent possible. Polaris is in fact so tightly integrated that you can set up Polaris audience scanning systems up to 90% faster than other competing systems and methods. Making laser eye safe is not the hard part. Making it look good on time and on budget, that's the hard part. The tightness of integration is why we do not recommend retrofitting existing projectors. Every set of electronics is different, and many components simply don't work well or at all with this system. Getting a laser that's built for this effect is highly preferable and will give you the most stable and consistently powerful effects over the long haul. On the software side, we strongly recommend QuickShow XL and Beyond XL. X-Laser's expanded versions of Penguin's award-winning laser software. Beyond being very easy to use and coming with loads of advanced features like the ability to call cues with DMX, MIDI, and a great deal more, Penguin's software very closely integrates with the hardware, and in the world of laser audience scanning, closer integration is much better, for sure. There are two different aspects of the software I'd like to mention quickly that relate to the practice of audience scanning specifically. First, in any laser show, you typically are going to have two different projection areas a protected area where the audience is located, and an unprotected area such as a balcony rail or uh, the ceiling of a theater. Great audience scanning laser systems should allow you, in most cases, to have the option of using skinnier, undiverged beams and or slower beams to create graphic effects and specific aerial effects such as uh, bounce mirror hits and more. To accomplish this, you would use zone control within the software. 
Each queue can be routed to one or more zones, which can be quickly set just by dragging and resizing this box. The box is essentially a limiting container, and when you get the zone where you need it to be, the software automatically resizes all of your content to just fit inside of the box. Pretty cool, right? This makes setup in new venues a breeze and really allows you to precisely dial in projection area geometry to be whatever you need exactly when you need it just by dragging around some sliders. The second part of the software that's super useful for audience gain is called the Beam Attenuation Map, or BAM, which is another patented Pangolin feature. The BAM allows you to decrease the laser output by percentage over a certain area and even entirely cut some areas out of the projection field. If you have spot operators, camera positions, windows, mirrors, or anything else you just don't want to shoot with a laser, just choose 0% and draw the area that you don't want to hit. The laser, as it's scanned, will just skip over that and keep right on going. Now, one safety note, the BAM does not necessarily correlate exactly to laser output and should not be relied on by itself for audience gain. It's a tool that's used as a larger part of an integrated system, but still very, very cool. The final thing that brings all of this together and makes it work are procedures, designed and implemented by a laser safety officer or LSO. From the very beginning, you should really try and work with a laser safety officer, such as the folks here at X-Laser, to help design the effects you're going to want. Being able to specify the right hardware, the right safety distances, the right set of procedures and more is critical to getting a project done on time and on budget so that you don't have any surprises once you get out in the field. You'll also need some training and proper set of procedures and if you're in the United States, a variance for audience scanning, which is a special variance separate from the standard laser light show variance, is required. Every X-Laser system comes with great operator training, a daily safety procedure checklist, and with our Easy Variance Kit, you can get your variances quickly and easily. X-Laser even offers free in-depth laser safety training for our clients who want to achieve maximum flexibility with this effect while maintaining safety. So, to summarize, if you want to be able to shoot high-powered lasers at audience areas, immersing guests in stunning high-powered laser experiences safely, you need four key things. The first one is a laser projection system, built and specified to perform this effect reliably. An integrated system of audience gain hardware, software, and procedures like the patent pending X-Laser Polaris system is the second thing. And then the third thing is an assistance of an experienced laser safety officer who can help specify the technical requirements of the project and design any unique setup procedures that you might need. The fourth thing and last thing is the vision to see just how dynamic and immersive placing audiences inside of high power laser can be. On behalf of X-Laser and Pangolin Laser Systems, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please leave us some comments down below. Check us out on the web and let us know about your next project. We'd love to help you make it spectacular.